So today in chemistry we'll be talking about stoichiometric calculus, okay? And so stoichiometry, uh, which is spelled like uh, this, stoichi stoichiometry. Uh, stoichiometry f comes from stechion or stechion, sorry, uh, stechion, which means uh, element, and m metro or metria which means uh, just to um, to measure metria means measure so we're going to be measuring the elements well what actually we're going to do is that given a reaction so let's say we know that H uh, with O Okay, gives us water, which, which is H2O, okay? So we see, oh, here we have two oxygens, two hydrogens, but on this side we only have one. So then we have to balance it by multiplying by two. So 2H two plus O is equal to H2O, okay? And then what if we wanted to do a two, two molecules? So we would have to multiply by two by both sides, just like any equation, okay? So we multiply by two. And we know that multiplication is distributive. So we have 4H, okay? Plus 2O. That's going to be equal to a... Now, now comes the deal. You cannot change the subscript i was going to do that error i was going to do like h4 but you cannot do that you have to do 2h2o because if i did that h4 o2 is very very different than 2h2o 2h2o is telling me that i have two molecules of h2o it's water okay and so stoichiometry is basically that. Once you have the the balanced equation, so this is the minimum equation, which is 2H plus O or H2O, okay? It's the same thing. And this is a factor of the one above. This is the minimum. Once you have it balanced out, you're going to make out the, the proportions. So we know, for example, that two of H this okay two of uh, hydrogen and when i say of hydrogen i mean moles two moles of hydrogen uh, is to one mole of oxygen which is to one mole of water okay <clears throat> so for example uh, i know that two is to one and so let, let's say i want to know how many i need when I have three moles of ox of hydrogen, okay? And I put the X over here. And as this is an equation, we can multiply, we can cross multiply, giving us X times two is equal to three times one. Well, three times one is the same thing as three and two times X is the same thing as two X. We divide both sides by x, and we have that 3 over 2 is 0 0.75, I guess. Is it true? 75. Uh, 3 halves. No, 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 no. 3 halves is 3 divided by 2 which is yeah two thirds would be 0 0.75 but this is one and a half almost got that wrong 1.5 uh 
So we would have three oxygen, th three moles of hydrogen to one and a half moles of oxygen, uh, which would then give us one and a half hydrogen uh, water molecule. But the chem the the chemist they don't like uh, numbers that are not integers. So yeah, we it's we normally uh, just not say never, right? But we normally don't use numbers that are not integers, okay? Um, and we can do that with moles, but we can also do that with grams. So let's say we know that uh, for hydrogen, one uh, it weighs one grams for each mole, right? And in this case, we had three moles. Therefore, we have three grams of hydrogen is to, we know that 16 grams of oxygen is to one mole, and we had one and a half moles, right? So we just have to multiply 16 by one, which is 16 plus dot five times one dot five, ooh. One dot five times uh, zero dot five, that's the same thing as 15 times 5 and we divide by 100 okay so 15 times 2 is 30 times 2 is 60 so yeah it's 60 plus 15 which is 75 divided by uh, 100 is 0 dot 75 Okay, so yeah, 16 plus 0 dot 70. Wait, what? What am I doing? We just have to multiply, we have to do 16 plus 16 times a half, which is 8. What am I doing today? Okay, 16 plus 8, which gives us 24. So we're going to have 24 grams of oxygen, okay? No, I'm just, uh, there we go. Uh, so we have 24 grams of oxygen and three grams of Uh, of oxygen, boy. And now we want we have to know the water. So we know this H two plus O. We kind of can say like that. So it's going to be two times uh, one gram per one mole. Okay. Uh, plus one times uh 16 grams per mole okay and so then what we, what we would have would be two grams plus 16 grams which would then gives us 18 grams per mole okay and we had what one and a half so that would be 18 plus half of 18, which is not. Oof. 18 plus half of 18, which is 9. And then we would have 27. And you can see that here. Uh, up here, I'm going to put our 2H plus O. Okay. okay that gives us. H two O okay, and then we did that crazy thing, saying that it was three H, so then it would have to be one and a half O okay, which we never do it just for the sake of teaching, and then we we would have one dot half 
one and a half water molecules, okay? And so we worked out the grams, and here we have three grams. Over here we have, oh, we had 24. And as the rule of, of Proust and the rule of Lavoisier, we have that we, 27 grams. Everything is grams, okay? So that we can sum them up at the end. So yeah, Proust said that the, the proportions, they are always equal. And with that, we can know by Lavoisier that the sum of the the sum of the components of the weight of the components is the same thing as the weight of the result. So three grams, that means three grams plus 24 grams have to be equal to 27 grams, which indeed is, okay? So yeah, these two law are very important. And here we had to do a bunch of calculations, but let's say we were at a standard temperature and pressure uh, conditions, okay? We're at, we are at STP, okay? And just uh, to remember, that is at one ATM, one atmosphere, oh boy, and one atmosphere, and 200 and 273 and to be exact dot 15 uh kelvin which would be zero degrees celsius which would also be around 77 degrees fahrenheit okay but when we're dealing with chemistry in Mm, gases we normally use Kelvin. That's the SI unit. Okay, and one ATM. We also could use bar, Pascal, but normally we use ATM. Okay, that's the SI unit. So moving on, uh, if we have an ATP, that's the the law of Guy Lussac. It was French. Uh, he says that any two gases. Uh, gases at the same pressure and temperature, they have uh, they have uh, the same the same the same measures in any two different uh, units. So Let's say that we have uh, our our first um, equation. Okay, two atoms of hydrogen plus one atom of oxygen gives us uh, one atom, or actually one molecule of water H2O. So if they are at the same uh, pressure and the same uh, temperature, uh, we can know the volume, okay? We know that PV uh, over T, okay? Is equal to PV over T, one, one, one. Two, 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 that was our first, this is our first uh, equation. And from this, we also learned the second, which was the Clayperon equation, okay? That says that PV is equal to NRT. That's the one we're going to use, okay? So I'm going, to, I'm only going to rewrite it. So we have, PV, so pressure, times the volume, uh, is going to be equal to 
number of moles k times the const the universal constant of the gases times temperature and we have everything because remember stp uh, so we have one atm uh, times we don't have the volume but it doesn't matter volume and it is just let me write over here liters okay that's going to be we want to know the volume that one mole occupies so one mole times the universe gas constant we have lots of you know, of gas constants but we are going to use them with special special units it's going to be 0 0.082 and now comes the units We're going to have pressure which is atm as we know okay uh and volume which is liters over kelvin mole okay times two seven two seven three actually i'm going to write down here okay times okay two seven three dot fifteen kelvin so what do we see over here we see that moles they cancel out with moles a kelvin cancel with kelvin and that atm they cancel also with atm leaving us with one multiplied by zero dot zero eighty two frick eighty two times two hundred and seventy three dot fifteen liters and then we just divide by one and dividing by one i mean multiply by one and divide by one uh it doesn't matter and also the ones are going to cancel out so yeah volume let me just get the calculator out uh it is equal to 273.15 uh, okay, times 0 0.082. And that, and that is wrong, 273 times uh, 0 0.082. That is 20. 22.386, oh yeah, that's 22.4. So one mole of any gas, one mole, actually, actually let me write this and not with the text tool because, okay. So one, one mole of any gas where at, standard pressure and temperature is ta -da, 22 no, 4 liters no matter what gas we are talking about it can be oxygen hydrogen helium radium everything 22.4 liters and this is important at standard temperature and pressure and i wrote it the other way but okay you get it having this so we are going to have we are going to pass it to liters so it's two time let's say this is 22 okay let's say that this is i don't know a l let's see okay so it's going to be two times l uh, plus one times L. Okay, that's going to be equal to one times L. Here is H, here is O, 
And here is H2O. And we, and we saw that we had two moles. And what is the, what is a mole? Okay, mole, we, we saw that is 222.4 liters. So we have two moles or two times that liter, okay. And so what's going to happen is that uh, the the 20 to 22.4, they are going to cancel because it's an every one. So we can just say that it's two liters, okay? We can simplify by dividing everything. So we're going to have two liters of hydrogen is, is to one liter of oxygen, which is one, to one liter of water. But we could also say milliliters or decaliters. It doesn't matter, but you get the point. Okay. So yeah, that was it. We saw about the laws of Proust and Lavoisier. We also uh, saw a little bit about stoichiometry. We've already studied stoichiometry. That was just like a, just to see it again, uh, stoichiometry. Proust and Lavoisier, and we saw about of the Gay-Lussac, uh, actually Guy-Lussac uh, law. So yeah, that's it.